We're going to be very strong on background checks. We're going to be doing very strong background checks. We have to keep the guns out of the hands of those that pose the threat. And this really includes background checks. And I know, Senator, you're working on things. Joe, I know you're working. And, uh, I mean, I'm looking at a number of the folks around the table. You're working on different bills. We have to get them. We have to get them done. The president today promising gun control. The problem is, it is a promise he has made before and broken. So after first saying we need strong background checks, now the president says we already have them. New to the pattern. Remember, after the slaughter of innocent children at Parkland in Florida, it was mass shooting happens, call for change erupt, President Trump says we need change, phone call from the NRA, then nothing happens. Well, he's reiterating NRA talking points about gun violence being a mental health issue and walking back his support of background bills. It's not the gun that pulls the trigger. It's the person holding the gun. After El Paso and Dayton, you seem to be fully in support of, of enhanced measures. When you were leaving Bedminster, you seem to suggest that we already do have strong background laws, which a lot of people read as you dialing back. Well, we do have, I mean, I'm not doing that to be cute. We have very, very strong background checks right now. President Trump is once again talking about gun policy following the mass shootings in El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio. Throughout his presidency, Trump has spoken about bold action on guns and then backtracked. 